Hello everyone, Brandon Montemer here with Montemer & Associates, your number one real estate resource. Well, hey, there is no doubt the market is starting to shift, it's starting to change. All right, uh, prices aren't going down, prices are still uh, moving in a positive direction, but we are seeing things shift around. I'm, I'm sure you guys are seeing it as well. So uh, let's jump right in and talk about where the opportunities are for some of our sellers and buyers out there. All right, so as we know, mark, the market's shifting. Even though inventory is still low, all right, we're seeing a lot of things. One is buyer fatigue, all right? Some buyers have been out there searching for the last six months, year, or even more, have put offers in on five, 10, 15 homes, haven't gotten them, and they've just decided, you know what? Maybe now is not the time, all right? Prices are up, so a lot of people are looking at prices and saying, hey, it's just not affordable for me, and maybe not considering that the low interest rates are offsetting some, some of that. And then now we're rolling into the holidays as well, so we got a lot of people asking us, is now the time for me to sell? So uh, again, we take a lot of pride in advising our clients the right way and looking at your specific situation to decide if now is the time. So there are a few categories I'd like to bring up with the low inventory that we're looking at, the low interest rates, and a still a lot of motivated buyers out there. If your home falls into one of these four categories and you've thought about selling, now might be the time to go. So number one is location. So if you're near a busy road or you have freeway noise or there is something like that that affects the home, as inventory rebuilds, buyers are gonna have more choice, uh, more to pick from. So a home like that that might have uh, a noise situation might not get the same dollar or attention that it would in today's market where buyers may overlook that. So that's one thing. Number two is functional obsolescence. So if you have like a detached garage or a home with uh, a garage that has no direct access or there's smaller bedrooms, again, things where then there's more uh, options and more opportunity out there for buyers, they may be a little bit pickier Right now, they may look past it, especially rolling into the end of the year, people relocating into the area and needing to buy a home immediately. So something to consider as well. Number three is a long commute. Now, things have changed a lot with COVID and uh, people working from home, not having to travel uh, out of the area as much for work. So people are looking into homes like this or considering driving a little bit further away from the freeway or a little bit further away from work. So homes that are deeper uh, in the freeway or deeper into communities, buyers might not find as appealing in a, new, uh, in a different market with more inventory, might be more willing to look at it now. And then the final thing is, if you haven't remodeled, you hit a point where you're like, hey, do we remove, do we remodel? Again, now is the time where we're seeing homes like that get the highest dollar for the least amount of work. So something to consider. So if you have any questions, uh, think your home might fall into one of these categories, think it might be a good time to sell or you're just not sure, give us a call. We'd love to come check it out, talk to you about it and see where we can help out. All right. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.